Hey everybody, it's Mona, 63 Sonotech Ultrasound Traveler. Uh, I just want to give you a quick um, video of my craft space redo. You know, I only have a corner of my bedroom. Um, and what I decided to do is I went on Amazon and I found these metal racks. Um, they are movable. They go back and forth. Um, they were on sale at the time for like $16.95. I think they run about $25 normally. Um, but wow so much more room than any of those cards you can get at ikea and uh, michael's and joann's and stuff so i bought them and then i wanted the look to be kind of farmhouse industrial chic type um and so what i did was besides the wire racks i went and bought all these farmer market um, boxes from michael's i bought them online so i could buy them in bulk there's a medium and a large size and basically, I wanted to be able to see what I had. I got my cookie box on there. Let me throw that in the trash. Um, anyway, so, and then I found these wooden boxes. And these say Portland Bottling Company on them. And what they are is they are divided. There's four uh, cubes, and I have two of those. I've got my wicker basket and my big shot. Um, not big shot, but um, my mind just went blank my uh, bind it all stuff in there and basically it's just my glues my tapes all my guys flowers um paper things like doilies and uh such and then i have my to-do baskets so this is right now this is valentine's i had the flu y'all for um almost 15 days and i was really really sick but uh, I knew I was sick in the first place, but I didn't realize how sick I was. I dropped almost 30 pounds in 15 days. And that's how sick I was. It was horrible. Um, this is my Smashbook um, bin um, because I do a lot with that. And then this is my bling. And I am down to very little, which I am so happy about because I would like to keep it that way. Um, my big shot. And then this um, two-drawer filing cabinet, my um stamp wooden stamps are on top and my um punches are at the bottom and this is my desk i'm gonna go really quickly um this is my future to do projects and then these are cookie jars that uh, we had downstairs and i love the rooster so i brought them upstairs and what i did is i bought um craft sticks and i wrapped my ribbons around them and secured them with the paper clip and that's they're beautifully stored i love that um smash book let me move this out of the way i found this at michael's too it's a mason jars and a little crate i keep paper clips woodies and uh, metal pieces like you get from better be scraps uh, some mason jars that hold bling and stuff like that this is my, um, what's left of my plastic. I got rid of all my plastic. I wanted it to be wood wire wicker. Um, and that holds my sequins. That's just some paper stuff, Project Life stuff. Uh, here is my work area. I've got little baskets for my tools. Uh, that's an extended shelf that I got uh, on Amazon. And my marker holder and my um, washi tree were made by one of the guys I worked with in in Virginia just last assignment. And he made that for me and he painted him chrome, which is a silver color, you know. And I absolutely love it. He did not have to do that, but I love it. Um, on top here, I have a two bin holder with uh, delicate flowers and just some crafty things. My tag holder. This is a mug that was given to me by the people in Door County where I was in Wisconsin. And I love it. It's so, such a nice mug. I've never seen one that nice. It's made out of uh, real, uh, what do you call that stuff? Terracotta, whatever. Um, a little bless your heart sign. My memory decks. Now coming over this side, this is my personal stuff. So, you know, it's not crafty. But I bought also from Michael's, it's called a soda box. And it's turned up on its side, so it's holding my inks and my, um, uh, so I have several punches that I use a lot of. Um, in my distress inks, I finally bought some distress, distress inks. That took me years. And uh, my embossing powders and, and a few little tools. And then you come over to this side. And again, another one of those Portland boxes. I absolutely love it. And here is the soda box turned flat. And I've got my uh, paints and sprays and ink and some more inks and tags and some embellishments. Down here is... Um, 
Let's see, this is my um, lace and trim. Now, I gave away a lot. I de-stashed a lot. And I am so happy to say that I only have those two containers left. Behind it is some of my uh, Memory Dex cards. Those are beads and um, things like that and some file folders. On this side, uh, in the back here in these containers, which I'm going to be also getting rid of, I've bought a wire basket downstairs. I haven't brought it up yet. Are um, like spring, summer, winter, and fall embellishments. Um, and I'm going to change those over. These two boxes, again from Michaels, um, are my stamps. Don't have very many stamps. I'm not a big stamper, but I do like to do it every once in a while. And on the bottom is my little scrap bucket. I love that thing. And um, in these folders here, and I'm sorry about the light, um, those are my colored uh, cardstocks. And, and my binder dolls back there. Now I know it's hard to see under the desk. Um, I don't know if I want you to see the floor or not. Let me see if I can bring some light over here. Maybe help shine it a little bit. Yep. Okay. But um, I went to the pet section of Walmart and bought these Tupperware uh, containers. They are so much cheaper <laughs> in the pet section. So anyway, um, I got my six by six and two little mini bins, and these are kits. And then um, my mailing folders. Let's see if we can bring some light there. There we go. Um, and then on this one is my twelve by twelve packs. And you know my white card star, uh, cardstock, my black, and my uh, craft. And then I have these bins, and um, let me tell you about them. They hold seasonal things. In other words, spring, summer, winter, and fall. And then this is graphic 45, and these are pre-made things. I keep my cutting and um, scoreboards here. I also have a scoreboard in there. And then the final two things are um, cardstock, good thick, you know, the good thick stuff I keep in here. And these are file folders. When I was in Iowa, they went from film um, to digital, and they had all these uh, file folders. I'm like, can I have them? <laughs> so they're huge. They're like big, huge, bigger than our cutting mats. So that's what I did with that. So there we go. This is my new... Uh, farm house inspired type uh, room I absolutely love that he did Tony did such a great job with that um, at first we thought that was gonna be too big but it turned out to be the right size and I know you're like why aren't your markers uh, colorized well what they are is my Copic uh, chows are on top and then I have different brands I keep mine by brand and the spectrum uh, noirs are all on the bottom so yeah I keep them by brand and not color to me it's easier that way I don't I know which one I can get and which one I don't and that is a quick mini tour of my room I'm gonna make it quick because it's so hard to upload these bad boys from your phone but yeah I hope you like it I am so happy with it I want to remind everybody that after the next video will be my challenge video and I hope everybody will participate um, it's kind of a de-sash challenge but there's a lot of brand new things that have never been touched that I bought and I realized I bought two of or something like that so it's kind of you know a whole bunch of stuff and I hope um, you all come along and play it's gonna be a really simple one um, but I just want um, you know spread spread the joy all right so everybody take care and I will talk to you soon and thanks for stopping by and watching if you like this video please give it a thumbs up and comment below and you never know talk to you soon bye